this evening as humbly as we know how, thanking you for the blessings you bestow upon us. We ask that you give the relief to those communities who are inundated with snow, wrecks, and things that are because of frozen streets and highways. We ask you to continue to bless our entire community, especially this time of the year when people don't have uh, as much as they would like to have and some people don't have anything at all. We ask you to go into those families and bless them. These are all the blessings we ask in thy name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic which it stands, one nation, under God, Thank you very much. The clerk will please call the roll. Mr. Burford? Here. Mr. Petagiru? Here. Mr. Riddick? Here. Mr. Smeagle? Here. Dr. Wibley? Here. Ms. Williams? Here. Mr. Wynn? Mr. Here. Crane? Here. The motion is to dispense with the reading of the minutes of the previous meeting. Mr. Burford? Aye. Mr. Petagiru? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagle? Aye. Dr. Wibley? Aye. Ms. Williams? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Aye. The clerk will please read the resolution for the closed meeting. A resolution certifying a closed meeting of the Council of the City of Norfolk in accordance with the provisions of the Virginia Freedom of Information Act. Adopt the resolution. Mr. Burford? Aye. Mr. Protegiru? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagle? Aye. Dr. Wibley? Aye. Ms. Williams? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frank? Aye. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome uh, to the Norfolk City Council Chambers. We're glad to have you here. For the benefit of those of you who do not regularly attend our council meetings, the process which we will follow is the first thing we're going to do is we have a couple of ceremonial matters and uh, they will uh, that'll be a brief and then we'll move directly to the public hearings we have a few of those on tonight's agenda at the conclusion of the um, public hearings we'll move to the consent agenda number of those items the council is uh, may vote on all of those matters at in one vote it's a uh, relatively <coughs> perfunctory uh, matters uh, in the, on the consent agenda, and then we'll move to the regular agenda. We have 12 of those on the, on the docket. Um, at the conclusion of the regular agenda, we'll vote on all these matters in just the way they are numbered in, on the printed docket. At the conclusion of the regular agenda, if any member of the public would like to address the City Council on a non-agenda item as something that's not on the printed docket, you'll be given that opportunity. And um, several of you have uh, asked to speak to the Council, have requested to speak to the Council tonight. Um, before we move to our regular agenda, though, as I mentioned, we have a couple of ceremonial uh, matters, and well, one of them is a resolution um, celebrating the life of Nelson Mandela and um, also mourning his passing. So if you'll take a moment, I would, I would like to read this, and then we will ask the council to vote. It reads, whereas Nelson Mandela was born on July 18, 1918, in Transeki, South Africa, and left school when still a young man to join the African National Congress to fight against apartheid, establishing the ANC Youth League in 1944, whereas in 1961 he went underground to form the ANC's armed wing, and in 1962 was arrested, charged with plotting to overthrow the South African government, and sentenced to life in prison, imprisonment. And whereas during his nearly three decades in prison, Nelson Mandela became an inspiration and revered leader for millions of black South Africans. Whereas upon his release in 1990, he sought a peaceful end to apartheid, working with South African President F.W. de Klerk to end violence and avert civil war efforts that led to his being awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1993, along with President de Klerk. And whereas ongoing negotiations between the ANC, led by Nelson Mandela, and the de Klerk government resulted in South Africa's first all-race uh, elections. In 1994, in which Nelson Mandela was elected as South Africa's first black president. Whereas as president, his commitment to reconciliation, to healing the wounds that divided black and white South Africans, and his creation of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, which investigated apartheid crimes on both sides, resulted in a peaceful transition to democracy while serving as a model for other countries. Whereas at the time of his death on December the 5th, 2013, at the age of 95, Nelson Mandela was revered as the father of modern South Africa and universally respected and loved for his principled leadership, for his commitment to peace, equality, and fairness, and for his strong yet humble spirit, qualities he will long be remembered for. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Council of the City of Norfolk mourns the, pa mourns the passing of Nelson Mandela 
one of the most inspiring figures of the 20th century, and gives thanks for his lifetime of service and sacrifice for racial equality, peace and reconciliation, and that this resolution shall be entered into the permanent proceedings of the City Council and shall be in effect from and after its adoption. So, uh, Mr. Clerk, if you will read the, the roll, please. Adopt the resolution, Mr. Burford? Aye. Mr. Protegiru? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagol? Aye. Dr. Wibley? Aye. Ms. Williams? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. <coughs> Crane? Aye. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. okay. All right, now we'll move uh, to the next matter. Um, I see Thomas Jones down there. And uh, Peggy, would you like to come up? You've got a presentation on the uh, library's uh, calendars again. Yes. Good evening. Good evening. For the seventh year in a row, we come before you with the Norfolk Public Library Foundation's historical calendar, Norfolk historical calendar. This is for 2014. Uh, we have it available in all of the Norfolk Public Libraries and 14 local retailers and out of the back of my car, <laughs> if anyone's interested. Um, all of the proceeds from the calendar go to support the Sargent Memorial Collection, the local history and genealogy collection of the library, where many of these pictures come from. $10, two for $20, but for you this evening, it's our early holiday present for you as a way of saying thanks for all you do for the library. Just wanted to let you know that the library is very strong. Uh, thanks to you all. We, it's been a, a banner year for them, and uh, even with the construction going on at Slover, the branches seem to be picking up and having more business than ever. We want to thank you again, though, for all your help, thanks, and uh, we do appreciate the support Thank the you. council has given libraries and the citizens of Norfolk have given the library. Thank you. Great. Uh, thank you uh, very much, Tom. And um, thank you for your longtime stewardship of the Library Foundation and your constant support of our libraries as well. It's a great effort here. Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, that concludes the ceremonial matters. We'll now move to public hearing number one, please. Public hearing number one scheduled this day pursuant to action of the council on August 27, 2013 under state law public notice having been inserted in the local press by the city clerk on the application of the city planning commission to amend the zoning ordinance of the city of Norfolk 1992 to amend chapter eight to eliminate the requirement for a city council approved downtown development certificate for projects that are not seeking any waivers from <coughs> requirements and are using the next lot area provisions for calculations of intensity. And this was passed by on October the 8th. Okay, any questions? There are no members of the public signed up to speak on this matter. So, okay, you can call the roll. Okay, I have an ordinance to amend and reordain portions of Section 8 to S0 of the Zoning Ordinance of the City of Norfolk, 1992, in order to eliminate the requirement for a de development certificate in the downtown zoning districts, except where development requires certain waivers or utilizes the gross lot area provisions. And by a 7-0 vote, Planning Commission recommends approval. You can call the roll. Dispense with the charter requirements for reading the ordinance and adopt. Mr. Burford? Aye. Mr. Protegero? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagol? Aye. Dr. Wibley? Aye. Ms. Williams? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Aye. Public hearing two. Public hearing two scheduled this day pursuant to action of the council November 26, 2013 under the state law public notice having been inserted in the local press by the city clerk to hear comments on a lease agreement between the city and Rover Marine training as American Rover to use the peace and plenty berth located at the Waterside Marina. Okay, this comes with a recommendation of the city manager. There's no members of the public signed up to speak on this matter. So if there are no questions, you can call the roll, please. I have an ordinance approving a lease agreement between the city of Norfolk and Rover Marine, trading as American Rover for use of peace and plenty berth at Waterside Marina and authorizing the execution of the lease agreement on behalf of the city. Oh. Disp dispense with the charter requirements for reading the ordinance and adopt, Mr. Burford. Aye. Mr. Protegiro? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagol? Aye. Dr. Wibley? Aye. Ms. Williams? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Aye. The, the consent agenda. Um, there are eight item, items here. Would any member of the council like to have either, any one of these matters considered separately? I just um, have a question about C6, which is about the airport. It looks like they want to add some um, uses into their uh, planning uh, table. and. My just my concern about that, and maybe it could be answered at a later date, is it, it looks like they want to be able to add gas stations and other uses. 
does that include all of their property? So if they wanted to take the corner of Norview Avenue and Zoe Garden Road and put a gas station right there, this is now allowing them to be able to do that because it's, it seems like this is opening it up for them to be able to do some more commercial retail type things on the exterior of their property. I'm I mean, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if the administration, this, this is scheduling a public hearing, but that's a really good question that we should have the answer to. Six. I mean, just. What do you say, Tom? C6. C6. Yeah, C6. Uh, oh. Ms. Ming, we'll have to get that to you, but our understanding is that most of, I mean, it's uses that, that would be on their property with. Airport the related? Yeah. But is it, but the, so we, the question we'll is, does it. Question. I know what the intention is, but I mean, once you do this, do you open it up for them to use to create retail opportunities at the on the fringes of the airport property? Or right. we ought to have a really We're good next response week. to that. I mean, I, and I would assume we would council would have a approval process if that were to happen. Right. But I just want to make sure that we're not open this now. I mean, they they have an extensive amount of property right. surrounding it. We want to make right. sure that's what that's for. We'll prepare. Okay. Well, we'll schedule the public hearing and we'll we'll handle it then. Okay. Okay, you can call the roll, please. Approve the consent agenda, Mr. Burford. Aye. Mr. Protegiro? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagle? Aye. Dr. Wibley? Aye. Ms. Williams? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. And Mr. Frame? Aye. R1, please. R1 is an ordinance authorizing the city manager to execute an operation and maintenance agreement between the city of Norfolk and the Elizabeth River Crossings Opco LLC for the operation and maintenance of facilities and infrastructure within the downtown tunnel, Midtown Tunnel, Martin Luther King <coughs> Expressway Extension. Okay, because this matter is coming back to us, Bron, or would, Mr. Manager, would you like to have somebody just give us like 20 seconds about, or maybe John or whoever you got about um, what this agreement is, I mean, what it isn't, because I know we've got, well, Mr. Montague wants to speak. Okay, go ahead. Yes, sir. This agreement does not commit the city to any funding or anything that we're not already required to do. Uh, one of the issues we've had with VDOT from time to time is who's responsible for cutting the grass, fixing the lights, and so on and so forth. So one of the things we wanted with the Elizabeth River uh, Tunnel folks taking over was a clear agreement of what their responsibilities are and what ours are, and that's all this agreement does. It just uh, you know lists what they're already responsible to, for doing and has some maps and so forth so there won't be any misunderstandings in the future. All right. Thank you. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, Dan Montague, please. And if you have anything you want to add after this, I mean, I'd be glad to. Good evening, Mr. Mayor, Council, Mr. Jones. My name is Dan Montague. I live at 4605 Crick Street here in the city of Norfolk. I do not want the city to enter in any agreement with the Elizabeth Rubber Crossing Commission because what they are doing is backward and stupid, and the thing about it is it will not solve any problems. We have pushed this area so far backward by letting these so-called experts come in and sell us a bill of goods. I want the city to say no, 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 and a thousand times no on any deal with the Elizabeth River Crossing Commission for the simple reason is it will do no good because the Elizabeth River Crossing Commission is only in it for one thing, and that's money to go to Europe. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Dan, thank you. Okay, you can call the roll. <coughs> Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Mr. Burford? Aye. Mr. Protegero? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagle? I'm still not in favor of the tolls, but to protect the interests of the city, we need to support this, so aye. Thank you. Dr. Wibbling? Aye. Ms. Williams? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Aye. R2, please. R2 is an ordinance accepting a grant in the sum of $320,000 from the Virginia Department of Transportation Enhancement Transportation Alternatives Program and appropriating and authorizing the expenditure of the sum of $320,000 in grant funds for the enhancement of the Elizabeth River Trail if and when made available by the Virginia Department of Transportation. Does anyone know how much money is in this fund? Not enough. Any, anybody no city know? Money. I can show you that, Mr. Huh? Mayor. Who? Ron Keyes knows. Ron Keyes. All right, call the roll. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt, Mr. Burford. Aye. Mr. Protegero? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagle? Aye. Dr. Wibley? Aye. Ms. Williams? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. And Mr. Frame? Aye. R3. 
Our three is <coughs> granting special exceptions to permit, to permit the operation of an entertainment establishment on property located at 211 West 24th Street and 224 to 232 West 23rd Street. And by a 6 0, uh, Planning Commission recommends approval on both 3 and 3A. Kevin O'Connor is here to answer questions. Kevin, where are you? Nice to see you, Kevin. Okay. Anybody have any questions for Kevin, just for the heck of it? I mean, to <laughs> just, rat just to rattle him a little bit. Bring anything tonight. Bring it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, where's, yeah, where's, where's our made, gift? I mean, yeah, this vote is dependent. We got to a lot easier. Now we need the beer. <laughs> it would have made it a lot easier to vote on. No, Kevin, Kevin it would have. Okay. All right, you take your chances, Kevin. Okay. <laughs> All right, call a roll. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt, Mr. Burford. Aye. Mr. Protegero. Uh, Kevin, we're, we're very, very proud of what you've done. You've done great. Aye. Mr. Riddick. Aye. Mr. Smeagol? Aye. Dr. Wibley? <coughs> Absolutely. Aye. Ms. Williams? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Aye. Nice going, Kevin. We're looking forward to this new facility here for you and your continued prosperity. So, okay, is your dad coming up for it, by the way? Is your dad going to? He is? Good. Good. All right. The 3A? 3A. 3A is an ordinance granting a special exception to permit the sale of alcoholic beverages for off-premises consumption on property located at 211 West 24th Street and 224 to 232 West 23rd Street. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Mr. Burford? Aye. Mr. Protegero? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagol? Aye. Dr. Wibley? Aye. Ms. Williams? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Aye. R4. R4 is an ordinance granting a special exception to permit the operation of a child daycare center on property located at 3624 Sewell's Port Road, Sewell's Point Road, and by a vote of 6 0, Planning Commission recommends that this be approved. Okay, call the roll. Dispense with <coughs> a requirement for read the ordinance and adopt, Mr. Burford? Aye. Mr. Protegero? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagol? Aye. Aye. Dr. Wibley? Aye. Ms. Williams? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Aye, R5. R5 is an ordinance granting a special exception to permit the operation of an automobile and truck repair facility on property located at 2700 Nevada Avenue and by a 6-0 vote planning commission recommends approval. Dispense with the charter requirement for read the ordinance and adopt. Mr. Burford? Aye. Mr. Protegero? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagol? Aye. Dr. Wibley? Aye. Ms. Williams? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Aye. R6, please. R6 is an ordinance granting a special exception to permit the operation of an entertainment establishment on property located at 806 Granby Street, and by a 6-0 vote, Planning Commission recommends approval. Um, there are four um, members of the public signed up to speak. Um, Chelsea Carter is here to answer uh, questions if, if anyone has any. And I take it the other uh, folks, Carrie Ann Weinberg and Charles Burnell and Clint Dalton are here to support the uh, petition as well. Okay. There's no one signed up in opposition here, and we have a unanimous uh, recommendation from the Planning Commission. Uh, Mr. Bull, is that right? Correct. Okay. Any questions from anybody? The only uh, thing I would say, Mayor, is that you need to be uh, sensitive to your neighbors. There's there have been some concern by the land property owners. We're happy. I'm happy with what you're doing and the way you're headed. But do tree, try to be considerate of the people around you. All right, call the roll. Please. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Mr. Burford? Aye. Mr. Protegero? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagol? This is a comment about something separate because we've brought this up multiple times. When these are sent out to the public, why don't we put the name of the companies on the description. Every single one of them just says spe what it is. We don't actually put the names, like it should have said O'Connor's Brewery on the one it doesn't say that. And people have asked what these mean and they don't get the detailed information that we get. So a simple putting just the name of the, what the company is is helpful um, to the public understanding. I totally understanding. agree, totally. I, you know, I've spoken before that the legalese in these is obtuse and uh, it, it doesn't make any sense. To you said it only because you're a doctor. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. But there may be a few others out there. That <laughs> the as I am. Entertainment, entertainment establishment on property located at 806 Granby Street. Um, help me with what you would like else. <laughs> Put the name of the, name? the company or the restaurant or the applicant so that we know 
so the public knows who this is. So, so to add the, the name of the doing business ad, here, right. me would have helped. Yeah, or or up at O'Connor's, it should have said O'Connor's. Yes. You know, anything, anything else that could be added or taken away? Well, Terry and I will have a special meeting totally. with you. Totally. As lawyers, we have the bend over backwards for everybody. You actually could put some awesome. And Sounds something. awesome. I think it's awesome. So cool. Okay. Okay. Got it. Uh, no, seriously, okay. this Bernard, this that's, is not an example because these are not as. As um, obtuse. obtuse, obtuse. Yes. And um, okay, all right. Dr. But, Whitley? But there are some others that are, you know, and I, I've mentioned it in the past, that makes it really confusing as to where exactly we're going with it. To say nothing of, God knows, special exception has confused people right. forever, because of course it isn't a special exception. I mean, literally. Did you say and I? Yes, I vote aye. Thank okay, you. I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> Ms. Williams? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frank? Aye. R7. R7 is an ordinance granting a special exception to permit mixed uses on property located at 2716 Granby Street, and by a 6-0 vote, Planning Commission recommends approval. Very obtuse. Okay. <laughs> Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Mr. Burford? Aye. Mr. Protegero? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagol? Aye. Dr. Wibley? Aye. Ms. Williams? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Aye. R8? R8 is an ordinance granting a special exception to permit the operation of an eating and drinking establishment on property located at 4110 Collie Avenue. And Planning Commission recommends approval with a 5-0 vote with one abstention. Okay. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Mr. Burford? Aye. Mr. Protegero? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagol? Aye. Dr. Wibley? Aye. Ms. Williams? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Aye. R9? R9 is an ordinance granting a special exception to operate an uh, entertainment establishment on property located at 5957 East Virginia Beach Boulevard, Suite 10. By 6-0 vote, Planning Commission recommends approval. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Mr. Burford? Aye. Mr. Protegero? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagol? Aye. Dr. Wibley? Aye. Ms. Williams? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Aye. R10? R10 is an ordinance approving a lease agreement with the Beacon Light Civic League Incorporated for the use of a certain space in the Berkeley Neighborhood Multi-Service Center. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Mr. Burford? Aye. Mr. Protegero? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagol? Aye. Dr. Wibley? Aye. Ms. Williams? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Aye. R11. R11 is an ordinance finding a public necessity for the acquisition of a permanent easement for the purpose of providing vehicular access to certain water supply systems located on the Western Branch Reservoir. Said easement to extend across property located at 4029 Godwin Boulevard in the city of Suffolk, Virginia authorizing the acquisition of the easement by either purchase agreement or condemnation and acknowledging the expenditure of the sum of $30,400 to acquire such. Kristen, is this what you're here for? Okay. Good for you. <laughs> you didn't have to come. Okay. Dispense with the charter requirement for the ordinance and adopt. Mr. Burford? Aye. Mr. Protegero? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagol? Aye. Dr. Wibley? Aye. Ms. Williams? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Aye. Thanks, Kristen. Thank okay. R12. R12 is an ordinance granting an additional one half day of holiday leave to all city employees on December 24th, 2013. Okay. Does that mean they'll have a whole day on the 24th? It does. They will be completely closed? It does. The council it's hasn't obtuse. discussed this. And it's but, obtuse. Um, so what? It's obtuse. We, oh. we typically do this, and so I asked the manager just to have it prepared because I knew somebody was going to suggest it. But Jane uh, wants to speak. Jane Bethel wants to speak uh, here. Against it? As a, Jane, you ought to quit while you're ahead. That's all I can, you know. Don't expect me anyway. Okay. okay. <laughs> all right, do you want to speak? I sure do. Okay. Now, what about um, December 31st? Are you Is City Hall open on New Year's Eve? Or yes, you? every the world's open on New the Year's Eve. The whole world's open then. On, on that, New Year's that, Eve? The state is closed on that Monday. Yeah, yeah that's what I thought. Get three weeks now. Go, go ahead. On he gets we get closed all the time. It's not me. <laughs> Jane, this is for the, this is for the tw yeah. December 24th. Yeah. He just mans the place yeah. if, no. if nothing's going on. Yeah. I'm not going to get that. What are you? All right, Jane, if you're going to discuss something here about personnel that doesn't is not related to this issue, I may ask you not to do that. Okay. 
I mean, if you want to come back later, okay, well, we, we'll, we'll do it then in new business. But this is not, whatever you've handed out here has to do about a personnel matter. And, it, you know, it's just not germane to what we're about to vote on. Well, I was just going to speak on the fact that I'm not going to be able to avail myself of this extra half a day. Okay. Uh, thank you on behalf of all the employees who will be able to get that half a day. And I brought with me, who also signed up to speak, James Conley, who also is not going to be able to get that extra half a day, uh, even though he won his grievance panel and won his job back. Um, so he'd like to say a few words about that. No, not about his grievance panel. Not here. Okay, not right now. Okay. okay. Well, I want to pass this out, and then we'll go sit down. Okay. Can we speak at the end of the meeting? Sure, I'll let you do that. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Mr. Burford? Aye. Mr. Protegiro? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagol? Aye. Dr. Wibley? Aye. Ms. Williams? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Aye. Okay, that concludes the, do you have to, you don't have an ammo. I have one additional okay. item, sir. It's a letter from the real estate assessor requesting confirmation of appointment of Mr. Brian Mazur, real estate appraiser two, effective December 2nd, 2013. Confirm the appointment. Mr. Burford? Aye. Mr. Protegiro? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagol? Aye. Dr. Wibley? Aye. Ms. Williams? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Aye. Now, Angela, you had a question? Yeah, just on the, um, the I love it when we do these um, extra days for holidays. I really do, because I know as a former city employee, the employees really appreciate it. Can we do it, like, maybe the month before Christmas instead of, like, the week before Christmas? So if people are trying to make plans for Christmas, they might know that they're going to be off on Christmas Eve or the day after or whatever it is that we end up doing. Good point. This is at least two weeks. No, so this is anyway. me. <laughs> if you were planning to any, go down, you didn't on do any. that already. Marcus is already booked in the Cancun, so I mean, he's already, okay, that's a good Marcus point. Is that's working. What are you talking about? Okay. All right, that concludes the formal portion of this evening's agenda.